You can also listen to us on SoundCloud at soundcloud.com forward slash the clock cleaners. Hello and welcome to the Clock Cleaners Podcast. I'm Matt. And I'm Keith. And today we're doing SmackDown Live from February 13th. Yeah. Um, so we had a decent show. Yeah, it wasn't bad. Nothing inherently bad about it at the very least. No. There was one one segment that was a little uh well, I'm gonna go with strange in terms of pacing. Yeah. But um but yeah, besides that it was pretty good. That was weird. Everything just reset on me. Yeah, whatever. But I didn't lose still, anything. As long as it's still there, we're It's good. true. Um So how yeah. did we open the show? Yeah, so the show opens uh, surprisingly with uh Dolph Ziggler versus Baron Corbin, or at the very least, that's what it was supposed to be. Um, Dolph comes out uh, for the first time in seven weeks on SmackDown. That's what they said, yeah. Um, He's still doing the non-music entrance, but they did it backwards because it starts with the record scratch, silence, and then the music plays once he gets like halfway down the ramp. Yeah. A little weird. Um, So, because at first I thought they did it the first time, like... Oh, he's back, so we're going to actually play his music mm-hmm. kind of thing. But then when he came out the second time, he that's, they did the same exact yeah. thing. Um, I guess he, it's one of those things where it's good in theory and then they translate. it doesn't translate very well. Yeah. Um, so he comes to the ring, and then Baron Corbin's supposed to come out. His mm-hmm. music hits, and then stops. And then it plays again. Yep. And then it cuts to the back, and he's getting beat up by uh, Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. Um, so they finish beating him up. Well, mm. first he fights back a little bit, but he's, uh, eventually, yeah, eventually. overpowered. Mm-hmm. Um, they go, that's one down and then they make their way towards the ring. Yeah. And then we get to see Dolph in the ring going, I guess he's, they're coming after me. Mm. He figured it out. Mm-hmm. Um, so they come down to the ring. Owens goes down the ramp. Zane goes through the stands to cut off Dolph. Who's trying to retreat through the stands. Yeah. Um, they end up getting fighting. They end up back into ringside. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, Zane hits a hell of a haluva kick on yeah. Dolph when Kevin a hell was, of a haluva kick. Yeah, when he <laughs> was uh, being held up by Owens. And um, yeah, I think they start making their way back up the stage. And yeah, because Corbin they, comes out. Yeah, because they were done with uh, Ziggler, mm-hmm. so they go back up. Corbin comes out, starts to try again and he's eventually yeah, he gets thrown into the barrier next yeah. to the stage mm-hmm. and then i think what do we have uh one guy come out from the back to uh yeah break it up mm-hmm. and that so was that it seemed like for at least for now that owens and zane successfully prevented another person to enter their triple threat mm-hmm. match for the wwe title man usually shane and daniel would be right on top of these things but normally yes i mm-hmm surprising he's everybody showing up late i guess so yeah so we get the first match of the night mm-hmm. uh sarah logan versus charlotte this is charlotte facing the second member of the riot squad yes she fought live last week and beat her yes, yes. um we had uh obviously um live morgan and ruby riot on the side of sarah logan on mm-hmm. the outside and yes. naomi and becky lynch joined charlotte on her side yeah uh so we had a couple of spots in this match that were a little sloppy um yeah a little bit um uh, i mean this... it, it was funny because it seemed like charlotte was just trying too hard yeah she's probably trying to make her opponent look good but uh, some of the stuff was not even like her doing like moves with logan it was her like doing things that weren't even like the thing where she was coming in from the from outside the, on the apron to, yeah it had nothing to do with <clears throat> sarah that. It was just her diving in and hitting her legs yeah. on the ropes. So, um, but yeah, and then they there was a couple spots where they just just looked like I said sloppy. It just yeah. didn't didn't seem like they were on pace with each other. Yeah, but, but they give this match some time. Yeah, a decent um, amount of time. Logan definitely looks strong in this match. Mm-hmm. Um, well, she's probably going to be, end up being the strongest of out the of three. the three. Yeah, I would imagine. Mm-hmm. Um, but. Eventually, Charlotte wins after hitting the natural selection with an interesting sell by Sarah Logan. Yeah, because she kind of like just planted her head on the ground and yeah, it was like, like left a... her legs up. <laughs> I mean, it it definitely made the move look devastating. So well, she did. It, it was sold like a DDT. Yeah, right. So, exactly. Like which a, is like a spike DDT. Yeah, because yeah. it's normally uh, sold as a cutter, mm, mm. where you just lay out. Right. But um, anyway, and then after the match, Charlotte 
goes out to commentary and says, one more to go. Yep. So I'm guessing it Ruby's was next. next. Yeah. Yeah. So but later on in the night, we get the announcement that it's going to be a six-woman tag next week. Yes. So there is that. That just means Ruby will be at the next week. Yeah. It's, it's weird because they've been putting so much emphasis on the men's title match that the women's title match is. Well, there is none. There's I know, but I, I know there's nothing set up. Yeah, but. so I don't know why they're not doing no. that. But. And this was the woman's segment for the night. Actually, the one thing I could think of is possibly, well, there's two things. Um, a, they could be waiting for if Asuka challenges Charlotte. They don't want to set anything before. Well, I just meant for Fastlane. No, I know. Oh, I'm just okay. saying that that's why they're not building anything big. Or Oh, yeah, because next week is the Elimination Chamber, so I guess they would. Yeah. They could wait till the end of that. Mm-hmm. Um, or what they're doing is they plan on having Carmella cash in. And that means there doesn't make any sense to set up a title match before that. Yeah, I guess that's true. So I don't think it would make sense for that to happen around a, a six-person uh, tag match. No, 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 no. Because no. there'd be too many people around. Right. But still. Um, anyway. Yep. Up next, uh, Shane comes into the... In, or. Shane comes over when Daniel Bryan's on screen. Mm-hmm. Um, he complains about what Owens and Zayn did, yeah. obviously. Do that's you what want he does. those men representing the WWE with, as the WWE champion? Yeah. After what they did? Those so. cowards. So he says he spoke to Corbin and uh, Ziggler, and mm-hmm. they both said they still wanted shots. So uh, uh, Shane decided to make the matches of Corbin versus Owens mm-hmm. and Zayn versus Ziggler. If either of them won, they'd be inserted into the match. And if Owens got involved with Zane's match or Zane got involved with Owens' match, mm-hmm. they would lose their spot in the match of Fastlane. Yes. So if either of them win, it would be a four, fatal four-way or a fatal five-way. Yes. And up next, we had the first match mm-hmm. with Corbin versus Kevin Owens. Uh, this is a good match here. Mm-hmm. Um, Corbin looked very good. Yes, he looked very strong considering he was able to throw around (laughs) Kevin Owens. Yeah, he hit a beautiful deep six. But, I mean, I don't know, ever since losing the U.S. title, he hasn't really done anything. And that was, what, back in December? It's true, yeah. He's kind of just been there. Yeah. If if he was even there. Mm -hmm. Um, But, you know... Like you said, it was, it was a decent match. Yeah. Um, it goes over, obviously, with uh, eventually hits the end of days. Yeah. He and also, they... like you said, hit the deep six. Mm-hmm. The crowd was super hyped after yeah. he had won the match. That... That everybody in the first handful of rows was standing up. That, that was surprised. kind of strange. Yeah. But, you know, whatever. No. Because usually Owens, if anything, is a fan favorite. Yeah. So. Well, I, I think, you know, the whole thing has kind of probably soured some people. Uh, yeah, with just like the yeah. way the story has been going. And that's not even taking you know a shot at any of their performances. It's just been just the crappy storyline that they. Yeah, been. exactly. Yeah, it's definitely true. But uh, it's nice that this week they did change it up a little bit. You didn't get. Oh yeah. We have a lot more moving pieces mm-hmm. now. It's true. Um, yeah, it's not the will... same old stuff over right. and over again. And as it started out with Owens and Zane working together. That's... Yeah, now there's a little uh, bit of uh, uh, infighting mm-hmm. in between the two. Yeah, which we'll get to a little later on. Yes. But... Um, so up next, Bob mm-hmm. Rude comes out for his, uh, where he decides that he wants to reinstate the open challenge, which I kind of figured was already... Um, it was just a thing they were going to do with the U.S. champions? Well, or... no, I mean, that was something that was already like been, Estab- been established by gotcha. him because he did it at, uh, at the Royal Rumble. Oh, yeah, Rumble. that's right. So that's that's why I was confused why he made such a big stink about it tonight, but whatever. Oh, we were probably supposed to forget about that. I guess so. Yeah, one um, of those things. So Rude basically suggests that Randy Orton should be the one who who accepts, mm-hmm. and instead of coming out from behind or coming and attacking him from behind, he wants him to come from the entrance ramp like mm-hmm. a normal wrestler. Yeah. Um, so, obviously, Orton comes out. And everybody acts so surprised. Yeah. Like, Ooh, <laughs> whoa. Who, who saw that coming? Uh, Orton gets to the ring, and then Jinder's music st- hits. Mm-hmm. So him and whichever uh, Bollywood boy is not hurt. Um, I don't remember which one it is. Yeah. Um, they, the two of them come out. Jinder comes out, and he, uh, or I should say, enters the ring and starts uh, ripping down Bobby Roode for... Mm-hmm. What was he? 
this I, I, this it was I'm, very. I'm pretty sure it had to do with his top ten ranking or something like well, that. Well, no, that he was, was that was Rude saying that Jin. Uh, I think I, maybe before Jinder came out, Rude said something about Randy Orton's spot. Yeah, because oh, he was number nine. Because he keeps on attacking people. No, that yeah. was later on. Uh, yeah. yeah. But it did start out with that, and yeah. then... I thought Jinder said something to Orton about being only ranked nine, too. Yeah. And I think that's when and Rude said something to him. Yeah, about that's when Rude said Jinder isn't, wasn't even in the top ten. Yeah. And then Jinder... I don't even remember what the hell he said. Anyway, the important uh, thing is that um, <laughs> the reason why Randy Orton was ranked number nine was because he because the uni- uh, WWE universe or everyone whatever was they tired they of getting said. attacked from behind. Yes, and then <laughs> Orton goes like this, and then he hits the Singh brother <laughs> with an RKO. That was good. Um, and then at that point, the three of them start fighting. Jinder's able to hit Coloss on Bobby Roode, and then on Orton. Yep. And uh, that was it. Yeah, Orton and uh, not Orton. Jinder is on top. I think he said something afterwards or Probably. something about like yeah. this is why blah blah blah. Yeah. Anyway, it looks like it's going to culminate in triple threat match for the U.S. title. Yeah, at, uh, at Fastlane. That that would be fine. Oh yeah, there's nothing it gives wrong with these that. three something to do. Mm-hmm. Um, and I don't know, Rude and Orton by themselves just. Oh, yeah, doesn't it scream anything nah. exciting. Mm-hmm. Granted, know. inserting gender shouldn't be any of excitement, but it kind of just throws something a little different in there. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. It throws the element of surprise, mm-hmm. if anything. Yeah. Um, but yeah. That was that. So, well, yeah. What's up next? So the New Day come out, and we have a table full of pancakes in the ring. Mm. Apparently, Biggie is going for the, what was it, the... Longest or the it was the, the most sh- pancakes, pancakes eaten, eaten in what eight minutes? Eight minutes, yes. Yeah, um, he was... he came out with rubber gloves on and a baby's bib. <laughs> yes, it's pretty funny. He was licking his hands and touching yeah, all the pancakes. Weird. But considering he was the one doing all the eating, I guess yeah, it really didn't it matter. Didn't matter. Yeah, uh, what they call this it was some sort of day. It was like oh, fa- shawl day or something yeah, like that. Yeah, but it was Fat Tuesday. Yeah, Fat Tuesday. Yeah, right. That's is that Which, what is the start of Mardi Gras? It's, no, it's the day before lent or some the tuesday before lent so i guess yeah but i i know i thought it had something to oh, do with it? mardi gras oh. i'm pretty sure that's why it's called fat tuesday it has I something guess. to do with that yeah um anyway yeah so, so in honor of that mm-hmm. they uh they said they're gonna do the pancake eating right so they start the clock mm-hmm. and biggie just takes Dang. a huge <laughs> and just, and just shoves it in his face <laughs> Like the absolute worst way you would go about eating yeah, a lot of much. anything. Um, and then Benjamin and Gay will come out. Mm. and Apparently they're not happy no. with the display of the tag team mm-hmm. division. They say, yeah, they say, this is what the tag team division is on mm. SmackDown. You guys should take it on the road. Yeah. Do better things. It was, it was just awkward at well, yeah, that point. They said they should also open their own... Um, IHOP rest- or Well, their similar. own pancake house. Mm-hmm. And they could have their own type of IHOP right. or a competition for IHOP. Um, <laughs> it was just funny. And uh, and then uh, they go into the ring and Benjamin starts throwing the pancakes. Oh, well, yeah. Gable them. picks one up, throws it on the ground. Uh-huh. Big E starts getting angry. Oh, yeah. Then Benjamin grabs one, throws it on the ground. Mm-hmm. And at this point, Big E's pissed and he grabs the handful of pancakes, right? No, Well, no, he grabs oh, the, the plate. The plate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then... But it was Shelton that knocked it out, or was it both of them? Well, what happened was Gable's like, nobody likes pancakes. We, we, right, we all waffles. waffles and yeah. then they throw the plate mm-hmm. of pancakes. Over. Yeah, but I think before that it was when uh, they said that they couldn't be serious contenders, and that's when all the members of the New Day started dancing around. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, B pulled his top down. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what did Kofi do? I can't remember. What did he do? Cause yeah, Xavier just danced. Yeah, and Kofi Kofi did something. I I think Big E pulling his shirt off. A that was, bit was yeah there. enough distraction. <laughs> well, um, but, anyway, but yeah, so eventually we got a match between the two teams. Mm-hmm. Um, so apparently the story here is that Benjamin Gable are being constantly screwed by the referees. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Um, so at so, one but, point, uh, Benjamin Gable made a tag, but it was. The referee didn't see it. Yeah, he was being distracted by Xavier Woods. Mm-hmm. And the New Day ended up hitting the Midnight Hour and got the win yep. on Gable. Yeah, yeah, which is 
weird. Mm-hmm. It's like, like, what are they doing with this? New Day doesn't need the win, especially not not a like a weird one like this. You know yeah, I, mean? I think they're just trying to kill time. Fig- yeah, kind of do something that has the New Day on TV. Mm-hmm. And since this isn't the A tag team storyline, I guess well, talk. Because the other tag team or the Usos weren't really showcased, so but whatever. I don't know. I mean, it was entertaining for what it was because it's true. the New Day and their pancakes is always. It's true. So Sorry. we're gonna have like a pancake versus waffle match next week or something like that. Uh, it wouldn't surprise me. <laughs> um, all I know is that I want to see a pancake versus Corey Graves match at WrestleMania. There you go. Something like that. <laughs> It's going to be tough to get him cleared for that. Well, actually, they're probably just going to come out in a giant pancake. That's what's going to Yeah. <laughs> wouldn't be surprised. That's possible. Yeah, I'm, I don't know. That's Who knows what, what they're we, even going to do. We talked about it last week about the tag division. God knows where they're going to go. It's true. With the Bludgeon Brothers seemingly being the next competitors. Yeah. And you thinking there's no way in hell that the Usos will drop the titles to not the Bludgeon to that, Brothers. No, no. Probably so. not. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Mm hmm. So we go backstage, and Renee, well, we have Dolph walking backstage, mm-hmm. and Renee comes up and kind of is like, We haven't seen you in seven weeks. Where the hell have you been? And then he comes and says that he was attacked because Kevin and Sammy are jealous of him and what he can do in the ring because they can't do that. Mm-hmm. And then she says, Well, that's nice, but, you know, what was the deal with the U.S. title? He said, Well, he wants to main event WrestleMania. Mm-hmm. It's the and whole reason is, why he came back. Yep, that was that. Mm-hmm. I mean, I guess this is something. So, what happens when he doesn't main event WrestleMania? Um, maybe he'll the, leave again. The, you know, where where do you go I from that? I, I don't know. It, 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 if there was a shot of him actually doing it, it would make more sense. Yeah, but obviously, it's not going to be the case. I, I you know, we kind of had doubts that either of them were actually going to get put in the match in the first place. Yeah, but then... There Once were... Corbin won, you knew that Ziggler was going to win, too. Yeah. But, um, but uh, what was it, about a month ago, maybe longer, there mm-hmm. was originally a poster for Fastlane, because race takes place in Vegas, I think? Uh, no, that's where the Elimination Chamber is. Oh, Fastlane is... It... is... I have, well, I regardless, it, it doesn't matter. But there yeah, was uh, there was promotional, a, a, yeah, thing. fatal five way for the WWE title with yeah. it being AJ versus Owens versus Zane versus Nakamura versus Orton. Yeah, and but that was probably just uh, we're gonna do something like this. You're right. Obviously, but we're just gonna hype it with these names. I'm yeah. glad. I'm glad that they went with taking Orton out of it, though. Yeah, the no. No yeah, reason he, for him. He's there. better served not in that because that's just a big mess if he was going to be in there. Uh, yeah, and like we talked about while we were watching SmackDown, Orton does not have a U.S. title reign. Uh, yeah, we uh, we looked that up. So, so it's the one. I think it's the one title he hasn't gotten Probably. that's still around because mm-hmm. he wasn't incon- intercontinental champion for a brief period of time. Yeah, but it's pretty much just world t- after that. Two separate tag team titles. That's mm-hmm. it. So, and then it's not like because he's you know the world title is obviously more important, right? It's just funny because some people like are all strictly mid card forever, and then he did it for a little bit, and then he went straight to the top. So yeah, well, youngest WWE champion, right? Well, they only did that because Lesnar left. Yeah, but. that's true. That is true. <laughs> but. Anyway, mm-hmm. so uh, the Usos do another one of their promos backstage kind of yeah. it's not like back it's like the like in the back book. rooms or whatever of the arena it almost it's, looks like a sewer yeah because there's all dark <laughs> smoke there's like another one of those phone phone promos but not like a selfie promo yeah um but yeah the same old uh, we got this division of lockdown no one can touch us mm-hmm. blah 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 um and then when they're done they show two hammers hit a screen. So. It was I like the effect. Yeah, it, it, was it looked cool. good. Yeah, because it kind of looked like they were getting hit by the hammers, mm-hmm. like in the video. Um, but it was the Bludgeon Br- Brothers hitting the screen because it wasn't a yeah. TV. It was like a projector screen. No, I thought it was a TV. It looked like a projector yeah. screen. Yeah. Right? Doesn't matter. Um, because like there was no glass or anything. It was just like I thought it fell out. 
Nah, I think it just like broke the. I thought it cracked and then the plastic fell out. Uh, maybe, maybe it did. I thought that's what I thought. Anyway, yeah. Um, so they hit hit it. They stood there and stared at the camera. And mm-hmm. That was it. Yeah. And uh, so yeah, obviously they're going to be the next ones to face the Usos, like you said earlier. Yep. Uh, so we go and uh, Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens are standing in Gorilla, right? Yes. Um, and. Owens is begging Zayn to win his match because now it's a fatal four way and they don't need to make it a fatal five way. Yeah, Owens and, says that he screwed up before, mm-hmm. so don't screw up. Yeah. <laughs> it seems like me not screw up. You screwed up before. Mm-hmm. Um, and don't worry about us teaming up because this is going to be every man for themselves at Fastlane. Yes. So. so obviously that means that Zayn will not be trying to help his friend win the title. No. So. Brings us to the main event. Yeah. Uh, it was a good match. Zane versus Ziggler. Yeah. For, well, possibly a fatal five-way. Yeah. Which I think we already said what happened earlier. Well, yeah, we, we figured it was going <laughs> to yeah. happen anyway. Um, at the beginning of the match, Zane did the whole, um, I'm, I'm on the ropes, you can't touch mm-hmm. me thing. Um, Trying to play it safe. Yeah, it's funny. This was a very heel-heavy show. Yeah. <laughs> Um, cause the two major matches were heel versus heel. Mm-hmm. Um, and then you had the, um, the women's match, which obviously was face heel yeah. dynamic. And so was the new day, Benjamin Gable. Kind yeah. Of, yeah. But in a technic, yeah, I guess those. Sorry. Right, the big match is yeah. the, the, but, the bookends of yeah. the show. Um, which is kind of funny. Yeah. Um, but you know, it's just to create the story, but technically a four heels in a match in one face. Yeah. It, it is weird. But you know, at the same time. A, there's no faces on SmackDown, um, and B, um, it creates a, that everyone's going to do whatever they can to win kind of mm-hmm. dynamic, so that's it's better for the, the match itself, because you'll see a lot more of, like, doing whatever. Yeah, oh, yeah, whatever it takes. Yeah, so that, that it, it adds intrigue to, the, to mm-hmm. the match, so. Yeah, I mean, granted... We don't pretty much know the outcome. But oh, AJ's going to win. Yeah. It doesn't matter. No. Um, but it makes sense because you have four, you know, people yeah. that are... Otherwise not yeah. doing anything. So. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we got a lot of near falls in this match. We saw Sammy hit an exploder suplex off the top rope, which yeah, was, was cool. beautiful. Yeah. Um, Dolph hit a Famouser. Mm-hmm. He zigzag. hit a zigzag. Yep. Um, and... Dolph likes hitting the ring post. Yes, he he almost <laughs> he, he almost pulled the Cesaro, yeah. um, but he then, did not. Then he went shoulder it. first multiple times into, into the ring post. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, mm-hmm. uh, eventually Ziggler counters a uh, an attempt at a super kick with a uh, not attempt an attempted attempted huluva, huluva kick, kick yeah. with a super kick mm-hmm. and uh, gets the win. Yeah, so surprisingly, super kick got the win. Yeah, uh, usually the zigzag is his thing. He just does super kicks as a sig- uh, signature move. Yeah, but whatever yeah but <laughs> they just kind of roadblocked ziggler with this whole thing with the whole oh, wrestlemania thing it's yeah. just like you know there's still plenty you can do with the guy that's true they 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 go okay you have potential but we're gonna give you such bad storylines that you you're not gonna, not gonna feel that's important. it we're setting you up to fail that's mm-hmm. pretty much it yep but you know whatever yeah it's been the guy that's just there to put people over for the last what year or so. That's uh, been longer than that, probably. Yeah. Um. But yeah. But yeah, like you said, we have the elimination chamber, and but it's, it's a, a week little, and a half. Yeah, a week and a half away. So that will probably set up, like you said, more matches for fast lane, depending on outcomes and stuff like well, that. Well, uh, I was thinking specifically For just the with women's. the women. Yeah. Because obviously there's going to be no bearing on Yeah, I guess men. that's true. Because um, the only wild card is Asuka because she still hasn't... Um, Decided on yeah. who she's... Yeah. So... And with the whole Rousey thing, I'm sure we'll get some sort of indication especially of... Especially she's, since she's going to Raw. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah. Yeah, and then we didn't talk about this on the Raw review, but uh, apparently Backlash is going to be a dual branded pay-per-view mm-hmm. and there has been talk of another draft happening which makes sense because yeah. we I, I don't remember how often they did them the the first time but i know they, they did them at least every other year yeah, which is two year. years 
Well, technically, the, the shakeup was kind of yeah similar. Yeah, but they they could just do that again. Yeah. But they need. But to... a full full on draft would make sense. Yeah. It, Maybe it'll... keep the champions on the show or something but like that. I think that. that's what they did. The, um, that's what they've done. Mm-hmm. It has happened. I don't remember exactly which drafts and everything, but I'm almost positive that's happened. Um, and then, and then you go from there. Should do a draft with the writers too. <laughs> well, you know, it's just it's it's just incredible how <sighs> one night differs to the next night. It's true. I mean, I'm, I, you know, SmackDown wasn't bad tonight, but on most weeks, it's, it's pretty bad. Yeah, it's just so predictable, and you you know what you're gonna get. Mm-hmm. Nothing interesting goes. No, on. like it's just you know, no AJ tonight, no Nakamura. Yep. Half uh, the rest of the women weren't on there. We got one women segment. Yep. It's just Grant, a lot of. In all fairness, the women that get left out were Carmella and Natalia. So it's yeah. not like it's their big stars getting left out. Like it's true. AJ and Shinsuke, but. Yeah, I mean, but still, you have a point. Yeah, it's it's just just the little things, and they there is a lot of filler in there mm-hmm. with, you know, like the new day thing. You, you could have just had the match and had a minute or two thing before it, but That's that true. was that was like a twenty minute segment. Uh, no, was, with no with the match. With the match included, yeah. yeah, I was gonna say no, 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 because no, yeah. it felt like it was gonna be a long thing, yeah. but mm-hmm. they actually got interrupted very quickly yeah. into the and thing. the whole Owens and Zayn thing. But there was what five or six segments. With, a lot. Yeah, yeah exactly. Mm-hmm. So it just seems like SmackDown doesn't want to try other things. Yeah, it's very single minded mm-hmm. with what it wants to actually yeah. go. Yeah, their main storyline is what they're gonna do, and that's pretty much that. Yup. But, yeah, so this has been our SmackDown review. If you liked what you saw here, please like, share, and subscribe. Bye. Bye.